to the same frame. What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of the Zane Frame. So, we fought through the ruins, now we're back at the resistance base, and well, time for another cutscene. <laughs> What's wrong? I see. Dalek is... Well, don't give up yet! Just not a huge fan of completing sentences, are you there, Chrissy? We know Thanatos is up to something, but now the Emperor wants a truce. He's saying he wants peace. This... this isn't a trap at all. Maybe we should give the Emperor a chance. That one's a spy. That girl's a spy. She's either an idiot or a spy. <laughs> We've made the Emperor change his mind. All right, now I'm, I'm pretty sure as the leader, you're not a spy. So that makes you an idiot. This is what we've been waiting for. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> now this meeting, your journey will be over. No one, no one's gonna, no one, no one's gonna say anything about this. No, no one's gonna. But this is his face is well disguised. Oh, the the person at the at their front. Uh. The front, literally and metaphorically, um, screams out as the resistance is base. All right, um, maybe no one's a spy. Maybe they're all idiots. Cool. All right. Well, let's go meet the emperor. And what I'm sure is totally not a trap. This will see the very end. This is the finale of the game, guys. We're just gonna go in, and everybody is gonna be really cool. And the emperor is gonna be like, "I'm done. It's, you don't have to. I'm gonna." The emperor waits you. Yeah. Because, you know, everything we know about the Empire is just, just totally indicates that this is it. This is the end. So let's just go in here. I'm sure there's no reason why I have my weapons out indicating that this is like a dungeon thing. Huh? Where is everybody? Ah, chairs. And you better move. I have killed your cousins. Alright, well, here's the Emperor. My, what a day to remember. We crushed the Resistance and the Mana Knight. <laughs> Bite down. Trap! No shit! Wahahaha! Wahahaha! Aha! Let me guess, you're gonna be like, how could this have gone so wrong? Let us out of here! Oh, Emperor Vandal is a dot. No shit! <laughs> Should've known better. Yeah! <laughs> We're in total agreement on that matter. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Relax, wait your turn. Do you throw down the pit? This is whatever our empire's called. Go down there. <laughs> oh shit! It's the return of the Not Mantis Ant. Oh shit. Uh, oh, she's being set on fire. She can't tell us what his weakness is. Well, I'm sure when she's done being on fire, she'll tell us what the weakness is. Oh, God. Ah, just kill it. Just stab it soft underbelly. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on here with the fucking analysis. Let's see, it looks metal, so I'm gonna say fire salamando's magic will work. Sometimes, oh, it doesn't have a weakness. Cool. Bomb, just throw whatever the fuck at it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it doesn't have a weakness, that just means I don't give a fuck what I cast at it. Yaw. Keep doing that. Just just zap it. Just zap it with lightning. Just go on. Go on, you tiny bastard. You beautiful tiny bastard. Yeah, let's do some ice. Why not? Why the fuck not? Oh, man, this gets whacked. It's whack, yo. <laughs> I love the words of this game. <laughs> oh man, stabby stabby, crushy crushy, killy killy, thrilly killy. <laughs> tycoon. Stab the mantis ant, tycoon. <laughs> Booty cootie. Booty cootie. That is an anime that has like, not aged poorly. It's actually aged pretty well. I still fucking love Foodie Cootie. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you like weird anime, weird referential anime too, fucking watch that shit. Watch it a few times, because I can guarantee it's not going to make sense the first time. 
it's just it's just not it's, it's not don't even fucking kid don't even fucking watch it the first time and be like oh I understood that and I was three years old and only speak Chinese <laughs> and the anime was in English and I'm like well, first off can't read what you're writing well maybe he can write in English but he only speaks Chinese then he would have subtitles maybe he can't read English well, how can you write English without being able to fuck it <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is one of my worst habits. It's like, I'm going to seriously examine this stupid joke I just made. Oh, a thousand G- oh, thank goodness, yo. Yeah. Oh, the 36,000 I had before, sure as fuck ain't nothing. Okay, I'm gonna kick this fucking emperor's ass. I'm in such a bad mood. So, um, it's been an emotional time. A very emotional time. I'm working really hard on my escape room, uh, business. I'm starting with some people, and it's going pretty well, but it's, even when every- here's the thing about starting a new business, even when everything goes well, it's stressful as shit. I mean, like, I think that's kind of obvious. Alright, fuck it, we're not fighting. We, we killed two of them. Good job, everybody. We got the XP. Um, so it's just been a lot of long, 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 long hours, and, uh, once that gets settled, you'll start seeing more daily updates of the Zane frame, cause, uh, I just try starting a business. <laughs> Anyway, get, get that good old American entrepreneurial spirit and do that shit. It takes a very long time. Like, like I keep telling people, it's like when you're moving. You're like, I only own like three things. You know, it's not gonna take that long at all. I just throw that shit in a car. And you actually start trying to move and you realize you actually own thousands of things. <laughs> and you gotta get boxes for that shit. And the liquor store doesn't have any boxes. For... Oh, in case you guys didn't know that, pro tip, liquor store always has free boxes. So, uh, go after that shit. Some people, I used to work at Walmart, and people would say, Walmart, do you guys have any boxes? We'd say, yeah, but see, Walmart makes, like, three-tenths of a cent on recycling those things, so they're not gonna give out those precious profit. Oh, the stories of Walmart, I could tell you guys, but I don't want to get in any trouble. I mean, really, saying they recycle is not that bad, it's just, I don't know, I kind of hate the, their stingier parts of hoarding things. Um, but yes, 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 busy, busy, busy. And then last night, I did something that I have not done before. Now, I'm an enormous Harry Potter fan. This is actually kind of a cool story. When I was, I want to, I want to say I was fucking 11. Um, yeah, because I was living at that house at the time. Um, there was a contest at the local Books A Million. Or no, no, I was older, I was older than 11. Because I think I was like 10 or 11 when I got into the series in the first place, but I was still pretty young. I was like 12 or something. I can't, no, maybe I was younger than I Who gets, I was young. <laughs> Point being is that I've been around with Harry Potter since I was around that age, you know? And so it's like been growing up with it. Um, and when Goblet of Fire came out, there was a local contest held down at uh, Books A Million nearby. Um, and they were like, Harry Potter costume contest. And I was like, cool. So friggin' my parents just like took me to a costume shop, we got some cheap props, and we hastily sewed some stuff together and shit. And I already had like my glasses were already Harry Potter's. Cause I got Harry Potter glasses when I was like uh ten, I wanna say. That's when I started wearing glasses. Um and I was like, I get to wear glasses and now like, you know <laughs> decade or two later, I'm just like, man. <laughs> I really wish I just had normal eyesight. <laughs> this sucks. Anyway, and I always have un I have really untidy dark hair and shit. So basically, just put a scar on me and some robes. I mean, I actually look like Harry Potter. Um, and so I won the contest, and there was like a big hole of blue, and I was like the first one to get. I was in the news and shit. It was so cool, and I was the first one to get. Uh, in the store, anyway. I think, like, in the county. Which, really, who cares? Um, it was a midnight release. So, well, I guess midnight release, I was one of the very first people to get it. But, yeah. I got, uh, one of the first copies of, uh, um, Goblet of Fire. Which, still to this day, even though I've rewatched the movies a billion times, and I've reread most of the books, trust me, I'm getting to a point here, um, a million times. Uh, Goblet of Fire is still my favorite book. Movie would have to be fucking, um... The Half-Blood Prince. That's just a real... I think it's just a really well-shot, well-done movie. That is just... It's a lot of... It's, we're just saying something, because... Oh, fuck. Uh, spoilers. Harry Potter. Go forward, like, a minute or two. I don't give a shit. Um, 
you know, it, it's, it's just saying something, that the movie where Dumbledore dies would be the one that's my favorite, you know? <laughs> that's a well-made movie right there. <laughs> but anyway, so, fast forward many years and I had a girlfriend and she spoiled the entirety of the Deathly Hollows to me. I was like, well, I guess I don't have to read that shit. And, um, because I was really mad at a couple of the deaths. I, I know deaths are necessary to give you more, you know, pathos to the whole thing. And it's just a wizarding war. Some people are going to die. I mean, not all just going to be side characters you don't give a fuck about. But, I don't know. So I was just like, I have no desire to read that. And the movies came out and I watched. I'm like, oh, these are decent. Uh, anyway. And so, when I got older, um, I realized, I was like, well... I think I missed something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do a little backtracking. I got older, I was like, well, I should probably read all of them, but I just never got around to it. Until lately, I just fucking found a copy of Deathly Hallows, and I was like, well... <laughs> so I reread through all the books and finished off with Deathly Hallows, and I have finally, after all these years, actually read all the Harry Potter books. I feel like I missed... Like, oh yeah, there was a branching path. Because I'm, I'm more than certain you cannot come back here after you've cleared it. So if you miss, like, orbs and shit, then they're just gone forever. That's why I'm I'm backtracking. I'm also making this a longer episode because you guys have been extremely patient. <laughs> and the, the, the dispersal of Secret of Mana happenings. You're like, we're you gonna move on to a different game. When I finish Secret of Mana and Ocarina of Time, I'm doing my best, guys. That's why Jack, there's a lot of episodes with Jack because he, uh... The only time he can come over is on Saturdays, and it's one of the few days I have off, and he kicks me in the butt and says, No! We record episodes today. I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> I enjoy it. I really enjoy doing this. It's, I just, you know, when you get a day off, you're just going to be like, uh, I'm going to lie in this bed and not do anything. Or you have to, you know, take care of shit around the house, and laundry, and garbage, and all that shit. You know, wash some dishes, make some food, go out shopping for food. And dishes... <laughs> Because you decided, fuck it, I'm just going to throw away the dishes and buy new ones. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Walmart sells like 80 of them for $3. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> just make a small building like that. I'm making a garden shed out of my discarded dirty dishes. <laughs> it's taking a while. But it's good for the environment or something. I don't know. I'll just get paper plates, because I'm not a little bitch, that's why. <laughs> I eat manly food, which cannot be contained by some sissy little plate made of just recycled tree products. You know? Actually, I do really like paper plates. They just make everything easier. Uh, plus, they're, they are good. The paper's bio biodegradable and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I do, I care about the earth, I do, you know, think we need to fucking cut out our shit with just consuming everything and throwing everything away. I do recycle, um, can't afford a more fuel or environmentally safety car, but I don't know, just make sure I get my emissions and all that shit tested. I'm not a big eco guy, but I, I do appreciate why we need, why everybody needs to be, so I do the bare minimum, to say the truth. But, um, yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not, like, super passionate about it. Which is weird. Like, aren't you super passionate about making sure our Earth doesn't turn into a fireball? It's like, I am. I just got stuff, dude. Uh, <laughs> whatever. I recycle. Better than most. So, suck it. You know? Big proponent of wind power. I do legitimately get mad when people are like, Oh, no, we can't have wind turbines because, like, 0.0000% of one people, that's just zero percent, zero 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 one percent of people, like, occasionally get migraines every once in a while because of the noise that isn't there, like, micro noises, and it's like, um, I had to get migraines without wind turbines going around, so suck it up, I don't know, <laughs> I doubt you even do, uh, or no, it'll ruin the landscape. Look, I live in a place where the landscape ain't that great, all right? It's just, it's just nothing for quite a while. Just fucking tree. God, I hate trees. I think I've touched upon it. Just, I don't like shade. 
I don't. I, I don't like everything being all dark. I like to see the sky. I just cannot friggin' stand trees. Plus, they, they've fallen on more than one house of mine, you know? After a while, just get really sick of trees and their bullshit. <laughs> oh, fuck! It's all the dudes! We're gonna see what all these dudes have in store for us, hopefully. Oop, now that I say it like that. Uh, well, we'll see you next time on the Zane Frame.